Uh, Michael Avenatti, this is the state of play in the United States in national politics circa 2018, where the lawyer, or as I prefer to call him, ambulance chaser, who has taken up the cause, the righteous cause, of the aging pornographic actress Stormy Daniels, Mm -hmm. is so taken with his own importance that he's planning to run for president. Here he is on CNN right here. I'm sorry I watched it, but Oops, I, I fell asleep. I, 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 I'm sorry. I just I found he's very good. Very good for sleeping. I just liked it so much I had to play it again. Here's Michael. Avenatti. I'm continuing to travel around the country. I'm meeting with people. I'm talking with people. I'm gauging the interest. People have been very enthusiastic. I promise you I'll decide by April. You'll decide by April. I promise you that. So the headline here, Michael Avenatti seriously considering a presidential run and will decide yes or no by April. So this is where we've come to, where a guy who is Well, what more can you say? I mean, Michael Avenatti seriously believes he should run for president of the United States of America. I don't know that it's that crazy. Donald Trump, (laughs) Tim, is president of the United States of America. Okay. Well, looking at it on that basis. On paper, Avenatti is a much stronger candidate than Donald Trump (laughs) is for president of the United States. So let that, you know, that's point one. Avenatti, by the way, and I haven't yet had a chance to write about it for LibertyNation.com, but it's on my to-do list, hopefully for this weekend, is to put up a piece discussing last week's announcement by Avenatti, who, by the way, he was in, he's been into uh, Iowa a bunch. He's really running. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's, he's running. He's, he's, uh, I mean, it, basically he's serious what he, what he said about is, it. if he, I can make it happen, I'm going to run, you yeah. know, basically if he can get the dough. Um, but he said that, literally, he said this in a series of tweets, uh, he wants to engage in a court packing scheme. Like this is part of his platform now. Is that the, uh, the like the like the, the great Gorsuch, Franklin Delano Roosevelt? That, exactly you like know. it. In other mm-hmm. words, we've got uh, inappropriate or illegitimate whatever appointments by uh, of Gorsuch and Kavanaugh because Donald Trump. I don't know. Hillary should have won. I, I forget what is the reason why is Stormy something. Uh, whom, by the way, she's also I think a director and a producer. Let's give her uh, <laughs> full credit. Oh, I'm um, sorry. But, no, he said that he wants to add two justices to the Supreme Court. So a vote for Avenatti, this is a pretty huge thing. I mean, th- talk about an appeal, sort of a naked appeal to the worst naked, of these. Naked appeal? To the worst, yeah, of, that, to the worst the of these. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I have a uh, – there's a person I know who's uh, a, a very left-type person who is, is fond of saying lately desperate times call for desperate measures. Right. And I think this is akin to the Nazi thing, and the reason why is it lets you do anything. If you can make it desperate enough, right? So you and I were deeply opposed to the – socialistic policies of the Obama administration. I'm not going to call him a socialist, but the big government policies. Socialist policy, policies, yes. The big government policies, especially Obamacare, and we did do something about it, which is we tried to make sure that it wasn't enacted into law, uh, and and you ran uh, a campaign for office in order to see that it was, when it, after it was enacted, that it would be pulled back. And I helped you do it. Uh, yes, you because did. Because we wanted, but what we didn't do was say, that we could just do anything we wanted because it was so desperate. And I do believe it was desperate. I think it fundamentally changed a lot of things in America for the worse. But we didn't just say we could do whatever we want. We didn't say, oh, this is a desperate time. Barack Obama and and John Roberts are are ruining our country, and we can do whatever we want to defend it. No, we can't. That leads to absolute chaos, and that's what is so dangerous about this. Because what happens after Avenatti adds his two? Let's say they're successful. Then we vote in somebody else, and then we add two, or now we have to add three, or how does that work? Until there's 100? Well, the, the basic premise of the left at this point was at first they, uh, you know, at, at first they were simply appalled. Then they were appalled beyond all measure. He turned out to be just as bad, worse than they expected. So their basic justification at this point is that this is objectively a, a, a threat to the very foundations of the republic like none we have ever experienced before and as you said desperate times require desperate measures so therefore whatever it takes whether it's true or not legal or not ethical or not uh Mm -hmm. true or false whatever it takes it doesn't matter whether it's true or not scott it matters about that right now yeah 
So, you know, I'm super tuned into this Kavanaugh stuff. So, you have to get that? Um, if, that's, not, if that's for me, I'm not available. It's, it's not worth interrupting okay. our marvelous podcast for. So, what's happening right now is uh, Kamala Harris sent out a tweet with a video clip of Judge Kavanaugh. And in the video clip, it discusses Judge, it, or it shows Judge Kavanaugh saying that uh, birth control is akin to yes. abortion. Yes. It's an abortificent, yes. I think is the word. Abortificent, okay? yep. Now, it's just a clip of Judge Kavanaugh saying those words and saying Judge Kavanaugh believes that uh, that right. he'll overrule Roe v. Wade right. and birth control will be illegal. Because, by the way, their clarion call for Roe v. Wade being made illegal to stop this hasn't produced the groundswell that they want. Not enough people either A, believe that it'll be overruled or care that it'll be overruled in the, the places that where they need the attraction to call their Senate. So now they're trying to say birth control will now be outlawed. But here's the thing about that clip that they don't tell you. Judge Kavanaugh literally is in an exchange with Senator Cruz, and he's summarizing or uh, stating the argument of one of the parties in the case, and that was their argument. In other words, their right. argument was, and he said, they said. Right, but that's the two words they yes. took out. He, so they it's, took out the it's a they total lie. said. It's a yes. total lie. Uh huh. Completely. It would be lie. like if I met some Bernie Sanders supporters today and I said to you, Tim, you know, I met some Bernie Sanders supporters and they said Bernie Sanders would be 10 times the president Donald Trump is. And then somebody clipped that, right, and said, Scott Cassenza said Bernie Sanders. Well, yeah, I did say it. I was quoting someone, right. though. As but if but that Scott, is, and, like, excuse me, Tim, and, t- and Hillary Clinton retweeted it after the PolitiFact and the Post both gave it their pants on fire liar rating. Well, she's okay? got a lot of time on her hands, uh, Scott. So they're, no, so they're totally comfortable with lie. Now, plenty of Republicans are comfortable with lies, too. But these people are totally comfortable with a bald-faced lie. It just goes to what I said, the WIT strategy, yeah. whatever it takes. So Avenatti, no matter how they want to clip or edit something to make it seem exactly opposite or different than what it was intended, they, they show that they will do anything. So all we can do is unmask what they're really doing. Avenatti will turn the country inside out for a lie about a single night's sexual incident from 20 years ago, but yet this consequential lie about, about a Supreme Court nominee, uh, crickets. Just into the ether, as if the lie was never spread.